Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have uh, the Geek Gear Wizardry box for um, December, I think it still is, yeah, December. Uh, for you guys, I'm really, really curious because, um, yeah, the hints are promise a lot. I, I'm telling you, they promise really a lot. Um, but before we dive into this magical box, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan, and if you like things that have to do with magic, with Harry Potter, with fantasy, with Star Wars, with Disney, with anything geeky, really, uh, with books, with writing, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and hit that bell, because in that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But, uh, yeah, time to see what Geekier December has in store for us. As usual, before we start, a little bit more information about Geek Gear. Geek Gear is a company based in the UK. They have uh, their um, normal subscription, which is basically a monthly box with all sorts of fandoms and geeky fandoms mostly. Um, but they also have their monthly Geek Gear Wizardry and that one is uh, basically a box full of goodies um, based on the world of Harry Potter. Uh, they also do limited editions. Um, I th yeah, for, for the Harry Potter one. Um, the last one was the Elf Relocation box, which came with this fun t-shirt with the gift socks one. Um, I'll link that unboxing down below, by the way, because it was a really nice surprise in that box. Um, what else can I tell you about Geek Gear? They also do a wearables box, which basically is a box uh, in which all the items are, as the word says, wearables. Um, they also have a monthly one subscription box with fan-made ones um, and they also have a special edition that is thank I think every two or three months. I haven't got that one um, so far yet. So um, yeah, in that special edition there are I think two wearables and then a few items. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is the Geek Year uh, December box. Um, they also, yeah, occasionally, well, not occasionally, always, um, they share uh, three hints about uh, their boxes. And for the one of December, um, the first one was like this um, cartoony door uh, with like a, a, a little note on the door that says Headmaster. So I'm guessing something with Dumbledore's office. Uh, then we also had a pick of Sherbert Lemons. Um, I don't know what to expect with that one because Geek Gear does replicas mostly, so something edible doesn't fit in with the theme. Uh, and the last one that really got me excited was an hourglass. And when you think of Harry Potter, there is one hourglass that stands out, and that is Slughorn's hourglass. And Noble Collection has a beautiful replica of that one. That's really expensive and it's still on my wish list, but that would be so cool if they did like a mini version of that one. So yeah. Uh, enough talking about all the hints and all the boxes. Let's go for a sneak peek. So we have our regular Geek Gear Wizardry box and when we open it, the first thing we see is of course the monthly t-shirt with underneath of that all sorts of items and red wormy. So as I said, the first thing we see is a t-shirt. Uh, Geek Gear always includes a t-shirt uh, in their boxes. And I'm pretty sure this one already covers our first hint. It's again a black one. They all mostly do black ones and it has a very colorful print of Dumbledore's office. Ooh, I like the print. I love the library. I want a library like that. I love all like the the orbs and the the how do you call them? Those those metal planet like things. I love them. Ah, oh, I would love is where's Fox? Is Fox on it too? I don't see Fox. Oh <laughs> But still, really, really cool uh, t-shirt. 
Sadly, it's again in black because uh, this one, as I said, was in their elf location box and for once it was white and uh, not black. So um, yeah, Geekier has a lot of black t-shirts, but their, um, the design that they print on them is always beautiful. So uh, yeah, another t-shirt for my collection. And then we dig through the wormies. Oh, this one. It's been a while since we had one of these. So Giger does a lot of replicas and um, in the first few boxes that I got from them, which was early 2020, middle 2020, something like that, um, they started putting uh, chess pieces of the wizardry chest set. And it's been a while since we actually got a piece. Let's see if I can open the box. Yes, we do. And we have, if we get it out of the plastic, ooh, look at this gorgeous piece. And the shield on the back. It kind of looks like the bishop, but we already got the bishop. So I think, if I remember it correctly from the music, this, uh, from the films, I mean, this kind of looks like the queen piece. So, um... Yeah, really love detailing of it. I really love that she looks kind of like, you know, a knight ready to fight. Cool, cool, cool. And as I said, my um, my collection is slowly growing because I also got the bishop. And what else do we got? I got another piece, I think, or two. I forgot which one I got, but I think this one is the queen. So, um, yeah. She already has a few of her disciples to rule over. And then... Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love it. Ah. This they don't do very often, but um, as I said in the introduction, they also have like their a monthly one subscription box with fan-made ones made by Geekier and made by the community of Geekier. And those ones come in boxes like this with the stamp of unique ones and sometimes not very much not very often but sometimes they add one of their ones as an item in their monthly boxes so let's see which one we have we have ooh pretty ooh I can already see like a gem on top or something. Ooh. Okay, this one is really cool. So we have like a crown gem on top. And then we have like this swirling silver. And then the top is like a blue crystal like ice crystal almost. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I love it. <gasps> I'm curious how this one is called, because normally there should be somewhere... Where are you? They normally include a card with the wand. Yes, I found it. I found the wand. So this one is called the Regalia wand. I can see why, because it has like a crown and it kind of feels like a scepter of... Whoops! <laughs> It kind of feels like a scepter of a queen, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, the length is 13 and 3 quarter inches, uh, the core is ruby dust and the wood is ebony. Yeah, really beautiful one again. My wand collection is also slowly growing. And not just because of Geek Gear, because I got, I think, like six of the newly released ones by Warner Brothers for Christmas, so... Yeah, that was fun too. Um, okay, what else do we find? We find our scratch card. Um, they are always in their wizardry boxes, the monthly ones. Um, basically, you scratch your card, the heart on, on it and either you win or you lose. And when you win, you get like a discount code or something. But until now, I never won. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with that one. <laughs> uh, ooh. Where is that little item? Yes! There's always an item that I'm looking for because uh, I think this one will be the last though. 
because in 2020 um, Gear Gear did in January a charm bracelet and then every month in 2020 in the monthly subscription boxes of um, the wizardry box you would get a new charm but the thing is the charm is so little and the packaging is also little because of that that I sometimes forgot it and um, on the end I would you know find uh, the charm <laughs> and this one oh this one is cute this month it is I'm going to grab it like this because otherwise you can see it really well it is a flying key I love the flying keys oh this one is pretty I think this one is actually one of my favorites so far from uh, the charms still waiting on my bracelet to come in <laughs> because as I said I didn't I uh, got Geekier, my Geekier subscription uh, somewhere halfway 2020 or something like that. So I missed the January box in which the bracelet came. So I had to order it separately, but I'm still waiting to get that one. Okay, I'm going to put my charm brace, my charm safely back in its packaging because otherwise I will lose it anyway. I know myself. Okay, which one do we do now? Ooh, I see a familiar box with sherbet lemons on it and it has like the honeyduke thing. And this box is very familiar because I um, I think it was in their limited edition for Halloween, their Toil and Trouble box. There was also one of these and that one was themed around pumpkin pasties. And that was like this little shop sign. Um, so I'm now wondering, could this be also a shop sign for Sherbert Lemons? Yes, yes it is. Okay, <laughs> this one is so cute. My brother will be disappointed because my brother loves um, anything with, with lemons in it basically. And he has been dying to try Sherbert Lemons, but I can't find them here in Belgium. And when I ordered uh, my ones from uh, the Warner Bros. studio in uh, London, they didn't have any sherbet lemons uh, in their store. So he's still <laughs> hoping to one day try them out. Uh, as when I told him that there was would be a sherbet lemon item in this box, he was hoping for the candies, but it is a shop sign. But it's so cute, shop, sh uh, shop sign. It has like... Um, the, a jar of um, the sherbet lemons and it says bewitching burst of citrus oh, when he sees this he wants when my brother sees this he will want to try them even harder I have to if if I can't wait until COVID and everything is settled down because I really want to visit uh, the London studio tour the making of Harry Potter and I already know that I have to, you know, grab a toad bag and just fill it up with candy for my brother because he loves Wizarding World candy. But yeah, really cute one. Um, and when my magical room is done, um, this one will for sure get a nice place on my Honey Duke's candy shelf. So uh, yeah, they are so cute, those little shop signs. <laughs> And that was, I think, also a hint. Yeah, that was a second hint. Then we also... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we have a little packet with a pin in it. I love my pins. And ooh, ooh. <laughs> it is a family crest. And you can see, like, I think ravens on it. Or crows. And uh, Toujours Pur, which is France for Always Pure. So um, it's, of course, a family crest of a pure blood family. And I happen to know which family this belongs to, because this is the family crest of the Black family. Um, Sirius Black is my favorite character ever, so of course he died. But still... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, he was uh, he was my favorite character, and that's why I'm quite familiar with the Black Family Crest. Really love it, and uh, especially the words "toujours pur." Um, yeah, the Blacks. Well, mostly serious mom um, was very pure blood minded, um, 
and the ones that married outside of the pure blood lines um, were like scorched from the family tree and stuff like that so yeah i really like this pin even though it's a bit like you know dark and macabre but still uh, i think there are two items left yes we have like this little box wrapped tightly in bubble wrap let's rip it open well the bubble wrap not the box mm. i hope this one survived the trip. It is a little box with an hourglass on it. So this one is hint three. And I really, really, really hope it's Lacorn's hourglass. Oh my god, it is. Ah. It is. <gasps> Look how pretty. And it works. <laughs> Wow, okay, the details are stunning because, as I said, I don't own the Noble Collection replica yet. It's on my wish list, but still. But the details seem very, very similar. And I love the fact that it's an actual working hourglass and the um, sand in it is sparkly green. So yeah, really, really cool. I love this item so much. Yeah, this, this is, yeah favorite without a doubt <laughs> i think this one will be the favorite from lots of people i have like this inkling feeling okay and then we have a lot of red wormies and underneath we still have the art print and if i'm not mistaken it's licensed again if i get it out of the box Ooh, it's a very colorful one <laughs> it is Luna love goods. Ah, oh, this one is pretty. It's so much loony. <laughs> I love Luna. I loved this one. And as I said, this is a licensed um, art print. And I love the fact that her name is like on the side and all sorts of colorful markers. And then you have like this more of a picture of her with her quibbler in her hand and her specter specs and oh yeah i love this one yeah uh also they they are doing a lot of licensed art prints lately so i'm not sure yeah who or what uh, because they used to work with like independent artists that it's fan art but now the last three boxes or something like that is mostly like fan um, licensed art that comes with like a cardboard bag and it has like foil over it so uh yeah but still i like this print i haven't had anything from luna yet so yeah really really cool and that was everything in the box yes there isn't there is even isn't a spoiler card oh that's a shame that's a shame <laughs> because i love to you know go over the spoiler card but still um yeah i really like this box um strong box strong items my most favorite ones are of course this uh, gorgeous hourglass and i pretty sure yeah the pin i like the pin too and this a beautiful wand really really love them um can't wait to put them on my shelves and in my magical room that's still being built up um but yeah since we don't have a spoiler card i can't really tell you much about the items uh i don't even know if for sure if this one is the queen but i think it is because she has like this she does this with her arms so i'm pretty sure this is uh the queen um what else did we have we had of course our luna love good print um we had my one of my favorites the pin of course we had our sherbert lemons shop sign uh we had our uh wand of course our regalia wand i really love the details because on the i just noticed that now <laughs> on like the crown like thingy gem you have like even more detail really love the fact their wands are so detailed I, uh, it's just amazing 
Uh, we also had, of course, our beautiful art gloss that we have to be careful with because it's made of gloss. Um, we had our little flying key charm. And then last but not least, of course, the item we started with, our Dumbledore office uh, t-shirt. So yeah, that was the box. As I said, no spoiler card. That was a bit of a letdown um, because uh, it's not the first time that the spoiler card is missing, but still. Um, yeah, really, really strong box. As I said, my favorites, the hourglass on top with the pin and the wand. I also like the shop shop the shop sign. <sighs> I'm stumbling over my words again. Um, but yeah, really, really strong box. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite item? Was there something you missed? Just let me know down below. As usual, there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram uh, concerning these items, along with a blog post on my blog in both Dutch and English. Um, the links to those social media channels are also linked down in the description box, so be sure to take a look there too, and maybe even give me a follow. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me more than you know. And all that's left to say now is thank you guys so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another magical bookish video. Bye!